Hey guys, today I want to make a quick video about the Peaceful Iron Farm. I think this farm is actually a bit underrated. It's definitely the simplest iron farm you can make, but still supplies you with a decent amount of iron. In fact, we built such a farm on our server, and so far it has been supplying us with enough iron for all of our projects. So let's have a look. So the main difference between the Peaceful Iron Farm and yeah, the standard design is that you can actually also use this in peaceful mode, since it doesn't require any hostile mobs. So normal iron farms work by scaring villagers and accelerate the iron golem spawning this way. Such a farm, you can get around 400 iron ingots per hour, requires three villagers. The peaceful iron farm, on the other hand, requires five villagers and produces around 125 iron ingots per hour, which is still Quite decent if it's running 24-7. So all you need really to build the peaceful iron farm is yeah, you need two villagers that you can breed uh, or just get five villagers. Then we need a lava source, some non-flammable fence gates, or alternative would also be science, spawning platform, and then a fence around. That's it. Apart from that, there's really not much to say. So the main advantage is definitely that you don't need to bother with the hostile mob, so you need to capture it can just build the iron farm, get two villagers in there, throw them two stacks of carrots and they would breed to five automatically. That's really it. Then, as with the normal iron farm, one more thing you need to make sure is to not have any blocks. The iron golems could spawn on outside of your uh, platform. So here I already marked out the area. So five blocks above the beds. You shouldn't place any, uh, for example, stone blocks or concrete block. Glass blocks or slabs would be fine. Here you can place blocks again. Then seven blocks below as well. The eighth block you can place one again. Then unfortunately it's really directional. So in the west and north direction, you shouldn't have any blocks within eight blocks. Ninth block is okay. And south and east, it's only seven blocks. In order to be yeah, sure, just do eight blocks on each side. It's also fine. All right, let's actually go over to a normal world and build this up real quick. All right, let's build this up really quick. So I need about one and a half stacks of building blocks, also a bit for scaffolding, one hopper, couple fences, six fence gates, warped or crimson, then two stacks of carrots in case you only brought two villagers or you just bring five villagers, a couple glass blocks with five beds and one lava bucket. You can also obviously um, yeah, expand the storage with more hoppers and chests. Right, here you've got a decently flat area. This is pretty much the highest block around in the area. So here we're just gonna go up three. Now we build the nine by eight platform using the polished die right because it's easy to count. Five, seven, nine, two, four, six, eight. Just gonna fill this up real quick. In the middle, we also need to place one hopper. Let's actually just mark out where we have the five beds. So this would be the center five blocks here. Okay, we flush everything towards here. And here we can place down our hopper and maybe a barrel or chest below. Storage or obviously item sorters. So it's gonna yeah, place down one hopper here. Then, yeah, let's place down the beds. So we need five. Wouldn't work with four villagers if you have uh, six beds, it's also fine. Okay, then let's also put yeah, the fence around. We're using the fence here, not normal blocks, because sometimes the golems would spawn here on the outside blocks, and then the hitbox would intersect with a normal block, which is uh, not good, because then they could actually walk through the block. That's why we're using non full block here. Fences work fine. You also can't. Climb up the fence. Right, then next step we need to get in the lava source. I placed it directly here below the beds. So it's the easiest way. Just open them. Get rid of the hitbox. Okay, then. Oh, we also need a bit of water, forgot to mention it. That should be easy to get. Or we use the same bucket, brought lava with. Each corner, water source. Then 
Yeah, we also want to make sure that the villagers don't escape. So, so we surround it with glass blocks that the iron golems also can spawn on. Then you want to get two villagers in there. Um, good way to do that is to get them into a minecart. Um, yeah, and get them up here. Or in a boat is also an option. Okay, yeah, let's just put two villagers in there. Then we throw them two stacks of carrots. They would breed up to five. And then the iron farm is already functional. Okay, so here we are. I'm running the game a little bit quicker. Usually the villagers would spawn 10 to 11 iron golems each Minecraft day. If you skip the night, the farm becomes even more efficient. Because at night time, obviously the villagers uh, would sleep and not spawn any iron golems. Yeah, so that's about it. You can take out your iron here. So you get about two stacks um, per hour in case you don't sleep. Alright, that's it for today. Thanks a lot for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.